Hello everyone, welcome back to The Inner World. Alright, well, I think I might be able to get Robert down just by annoying the Wind Monk until he keeps pulling Robert up, until it, um, just saws the rope off on the hook. I... he might fall to his death, but what the heck, let's try. Hello, Wind Monk. If I could reach him... <laughs> Wait a minute, I think, uh, what did I do to annoy him? Talk to Robert? Robert! If you can hear me, give me a secret sign. Okay, what's the secret sign? There we go. <laughs> Boy, if I wanted to have someone to talk to, I would have caught a parrot. Laura, help! I'm sorry, I actually thought the rope would snap. And then what? I would have just fallen down. Yes, but you would have fallen into the soft swamp lands. Correct. Quiet! Don't you have any respect for a wind fountain guardian? A former wind fountain guardian? And yes, I thought the rope would just snap, but um, actually that works out. Okay. I know what to do from here, at least partially. Grab the hook. And put it onto the end of the reed, which then I can use to fish out the glasses. Reed with hook. All right, let's grab those glasses. Ha, gotcha. Wow, apparently someone stuck two big magnifying glasses together. Seriously, those would make very poor glasses. Looks as if someone stuck two magnifying glasses together. All right. So this part I get. But now what? What do I do with glasses? Um, I don't really have any idea at all. What can I possibly do with that? Um, let's take a look at the hint system. Let's use it again. There's nothing here specifically about the glasses, so the glasses have to be used to solve one of these things, freeing Robert, helping the aerologists to complete their map, or refilling the machine of the aerologists. But how could it be... No, not, not the treehouse. How could it be used for that? There's the weird screaming spot again. Um... Yeah, I have no freaking clue. Alright, so I'm gonna figure it out and I'll be right back. That explains a lot. Oh, wait, what? I used the magnifying glass to see what's screaming. Um, okay. Well, I kind of already figured it was a screaming ant, which is probably somehow connected to the screaming... What, the uninhabited screaming ant... Uh, what's it called? Nest? That's up in the treehouse? It's a scream ant! Oh, that makes such a racket! It's a scream ant. It belongs to the family of hysterical insects. <laughs> hysterical insects. What can I use to transport it? Hmm, how about a box? You're coming with me. <laughs> what did that say? Quietly screaming pillbox. What could possibly be upsetting the scream ants this much? Hey, little ant, calm down. Yeah, why do they scream all the time? It's like they're constantly stressed out. I need to relax. Get a massage. Alright, um... Question is what to do with it now. Alright, so there's the nest up here. Does, yeah, the screaming ant's nest. Home of the scream ants. Seems to be uninhabited. Hmm... If I put it up there, maybe he would shoot at that and ignore me here? Maybe, uh, I don't see how this is gonna work. Come on, go home. Oh! It actually worked. I have to admit, that was impressive. 
Oh, and <laughs> now I have a ladder, don't I? Yep. Excellent. All right. Money bag. He has a neck pouch. No wonder he's dead. What do we have here? Did you want to bring something with you into the afterworld? Well, not anymore. Pointer. Hmm. A pointer. For extended pointing. Indeed, indeed. I can think of many a use for that. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I took his whole head. Hmm. That'd make a great paperweight. I hope I can use that soon. All this stuff is starting to get heavy. Okay, now I have a reed with a hook, a pointer, and a skull. What the hell am I gonna do with this? Ooh, flies. Oh, flies. They're hoping to find something to eat. Should I persuade them to come with me? It's not that easy. Well, yeah, just, just talk to them. Convince them. Use your powers of persuasion. Alright, can I walk across here without him shooting? Is he gonna hear me? No, okay, whew. Alright, there's a patch of moss here. What else is here? Just the moss. Although I might be able to reach across to him, maybe. I'm not exactly sure how much of a distance there is between these two platforms. It's kind of hard to get a sense of perspective here. I think it's pretty far, though. That has moss written all over it. Oh, um, could I use the moss as a I, uh, well, I was thinking maybe I could use it for the dry spot on Gorf, but how would that help? Soft, wet, root forest moss. Oh, never mind. Okay, I think it would work, actually. It's soft and it's wet. Should be soothing. Maybe. I know when I have a, draw a dry spot, I cover myself in wet moss. Very hygienic. I highly recommend it. Actually, no. Please never do that. You will probably catch some horrible disease. All right. Let me see if I can reach that. Not a good idea. Didn't think so. Mm, what if I throw a skull in his lap? There you go, catch. Maybe I shouldn't draw his attention to me. Okay. Okay. Always being reasonable, Laura. Alright, well, let me go show the skull to the aerologists. I think they're going to want to know that their friend is never coming back. Or rather, he's already come home. Just not in a form that is... alive. Hey, I have good news. You're missing your friend, right? Simon, yes? Yes. I found him. Oh, my. No! Terrible despair. <laughs> You're welcome. Hey, now you don't need the globe anymore, right? Yes, here. Take it. Simon. Thanks. They didn't really sound distraught about their friend at all. Not really. Anyway. Okay, now I have a globe. What did they say about this globe that you could drink out of it? With a straw? The globe is probably far more interesting on the inside. Yeah, let's open it up, if you can. Ah, it opens. Hmm. Wow, I can even recognize the Mercator. And the wind fountains are holes. Alright, so I've got something with a bunch of holes in it. So, what can I do with that? I... Hmm. Could I use it to collect... I could use it to collect mud, I suppose, right? Maybe? Depends how big the holes are. It could be used... Like, the water would fall out and the mud would be left behind. The water would fall out of the holes. Maybe. Uh, but before I deal with that, let me solve Gorf's dry spot. That won't help. Wait, hold on. I don't know if I use it on the right spot. That won't help. Wait, seriously? Really? I hope I can use that soon. All this stuff is starting to get heavy. But it's soft and it's wet. 
Soft, wedge, root forest moss. That's not good enough? Okay, hold on. Yeah, let me see if I can get some mud. Worked out well. All the liquid ran through the holes. Perfect. Never mind. She's being sarcastic. That didn't work at all. <laughs> Damn it. Hmm. 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 Let's go speak with Gorf. I have to ask you another question. Must you really? Hey, I dislike this as much as you do. I have nothing new to ask him. Enough. Uh, don't. Wow. <laughs> Uh, okay, can I stir it up or something? What good would that do? Should I stir it? Yes, yes you should. What good would that Okay, uh, I have <laughs> I have no idea what to do again. What am I gonna do with a globe, if not to get mud? Wait a minute. Could I collect some of this? No fooling around. I have to save the world. I don't know if this is like wet. Can I get this? Bit of moss wet? Or wetter than it already is? Seriously. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What about honey? Honey is um uh, a mild anti what is it? A mild topical anti uh, what's the right term? I don't know, it um it can be used to disinfect wo wounds, right? It's not very powerful, mind you, but it does actually work. Antimicrobial? I'm not sure what the correct term is. But maybe I can get some using something. Nope. Nice idea. Nice idea. Never mind. My hand doesn't fit into the tank. Alright, I'm pretty sure I do need to get something from it, but I, it doesn't seem like I have something that could actually work. Never mind that you can just turn it upside down and pour it onto whatever I have, but no matter. Don't think about that. Hmm. Hmm. Oh. They <laughs> they put his skull on the thing that the globe was on. I didn't even realize that. And the four of them are reunited. Well, a good deed a day keeps the bazillions away. I don't know if that's a good deed. I suppose it is. They have their friend back. They get to stare at his skull. So every day they can be reminded of the fact that their friend is dead. Forever. Yeah, okay, so what the heck am I doing? If I don't get ideas in like the next 10 seconds, I'm gonna use the hint system again. I will use it, I swear. I mean, signs, there's a swamp, there's Gorf, which I can't. Alright, alright, alright. Let's use a hint system. Let's use a hint system. What does that even mean? Let's use the hint system. Free Robert. I think we could ignore that for now. Help the aerologist to complete their map. That would have to deal with the mud and the sand. Which is to use, use to refuel the machine of the aerologists. So let's go for this one. Have to reduce fuel? Yes, I do. Half swamp water and half sand. I already know that. Thank you. Where would you get swamp water from? Uh, from the swamp. On the root forest edge. Yep, I'm right there. Thank you. You need something to carry the swamp water in. Yep, which I don't have. Do you have something with you that could work as a vessel? I don't believe I do. I could bang them against each other and imitate the sound of a galloping horse. But what good would that do? It would be fun. Okay, well, I don't have anything that could hold water. Something up here, is there? Something that I've missed? Hmm. Oh, wait a minute. Clothesline. Money bag. Wait, can I take the bag? Other than that, there's nothing in the neck pouch. No, she won't take the bag. I don't want to destroy it. Actually, wait a minute. That ooze that just, like, oozed out. Can I use that as an ointment, maybe? Home of the Screamans. It will be empty in the near future. Mm, what could I use to get it? The pointer? Seriously. Yes, seriously. Seriously. 
Yes, seriously. Okay, well, I can't actually get to the screaming ant nest from down below. Since every time I transition into this level, I start up out, uh, start out up here. So I guess I just can't do that. Hmm. Nice idea. Alright, there's a clothesline. Uh, I can't do anything with a wind mug, I don't think. No, I mean, what can I do? Throw a half of a globe at him? Or throw a bit of moss at his face? <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't draw him. Okay, okay, okay. No, I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to get Robert down just yet. Excuse me? No. Not with bare hands. Alright, what can I do with this clothesline? I mean, I guess I, maybe I can get Robert down without him even noticing? <laughs> could I use this to go across? Not a good idea. No. No, none, none of this is going to do anything at all. No f Okay, back to the hints. Mm-hmm. The sealed halves of a globe would be suitable. Oh. Um, but how... Wh wait, what? How would I seal them? I don't have any glue. It's patched up. The fountains are sealed. I don't think moss is that effective as a sealant, but okay. Does it work now? One bowl of stinky swamp water should be enough. Swamp water? An empty sealed half of a globe. All right, so what's the other ingredient that I need, right? Uh, mud or sand? What was it? Yeah. Hmm. 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 Where am I gonna get sand or mud? I'll take another bowl of swamp water, please. I'm already carrying enough swamp water. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure it was sand, wasn't it? I think it was sand. The tank is full of honey. How on earth do you come up with the idea of pouring honey into a tank? By being very, very dumb. Oh, wait a minute. Can I pick up the glasses again? I don't need them anymore. Nope. Hmm. 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 What the freaking hell am I going to find sand? I mean, there's mud, but you won't take it. So I guess I don't need mud. I think it was sand. Hint system to the rescue again. I'm using it a lot. Uh huh. Oh wait. Oh wait. Wait. Hold on. Back. I might have revealed too much. This this changes every time you come back to it. Like when you get further in the puzzle, it changes. Um. Yep. You already have swamp water. Now there's still sand missing. Sand is in the ground, but not at the very top of it. Wait. What? I'm supposed to know that there's sand beneath the top of the ground? Uh. Okay. Dig below. Hey, a golden vine. Oh no, it's only sand. How is that logical at all? How am I supposed to know that there's sand beneath the top of the earth? That's not exactly a universal thing. It's not like there's sand everywhere just an inch below the earth. Uh, okay. That made no sense at all. I can take it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that I have sand and swamp water, I think I'm all set. Okay, do I still need to get the honey out, though? Wonderful! Mud. Great. Mud. Now what? Now I have 
fuel. But hold on, actually, maybe this mud would serve as an ointment? Yeah, no. Never mind. All right, let's hope I don't have to dump this out. The tank is full of honey. Ah. No one just just push it over. My hand doesn't fit into the Am I seriously going to have to figure out a puzzle for getting the honey out of the tank? Why don't you just pour it out? Nope. I I don't get why getting the honey out of the tank would be a puzzle. Um I I feel like I'm harming my honor if I use the puzzle system too the hint system too much, but I feel like I should. Because I suspect that the solution to this puzzle is going to be completely absurd. Maybe it has something to do with the flies? I mean it's I have to think of absurd solutions here because a lot of the solutions in this game are absurd. Aiming at the crazy old man in the treehouse. Now it's aiming somewhere into the forest. Don't think there's any point in me doing this until it actually now has power. It's aiming at the strange. Now it. It doesn't do anything. No. Hold on. All right. What about the flies? How can I get them to do anything though? Fly, there's got to be a use for the flies, or they wouldn't be there. Should I persuade them to come? Yes, that yes, you should. Not a good idea. Eh. I have no idea. Okay, hand system again. <laughs> Refuel the machine. Luckily, you have mud with you. But first, you need, but first, you need to get the honey out of the tank. Out of the tank. God, I can't talk. Yes, I do. You could suck the honey out of the tank, but you would need a tool for that. You need some sort of straw. Where am I going to find a straw? Do you have something suitable with you? No, I don't. Unless I can, like, break this? I don't Is this thing hollow? There's nothing to point to. I mean, pointers are kind of hollow, I guess. Um... Wait a minute, can I take the hook off of this? Oh... Now I have a straw, a, a very big one. Hopefully, it fits into the tank. Hmm, yummy. Exactly how much honey was in there because she ate all of it. See, this is why I really like the the kind of like progressive hint system. It's very nice because I didn't have to spoil the entire puzzle. I just need the reminder. I need the reminder that I needed a straw and do I have anything suitable on me? And that led me to realize that I can take the hook back off the reed. Okay, let's power this thing up. Fueled up and ready to fire. Now, what do I fire at? Now it's aiming somewhere into the forest. Right, so I can shoot somewhere into the forest. I can shoot at Gorf. Now it's aiming at the strange animal on the edge of the forest. Mm, let's try that. <laughs> Hello, Tumble Mouse. She really did it. The maid fixed our machine. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? I think so. Yes, 
Fiona is a beautiful name for a dog. What? New data for our map. Wonderful. Now we only need two more results. Oops. I think I have to press the button more carefully. More carefully? Are you sure? I, that seemed to be a pretty good result. Okay, um... Oh, look at the double mouse! Is it stuck or is it just being adorable like usual? That thing is so cute, look at that! You know what? I want someone... Maybe I'll even make it, I don't know. I don't know how to. I want someone to make a GIF, an animated GIF. Out of... Out of that image right there of that tumble mouse, as it's moving its limbs about. Look at that. Look at that. It's so cute! Ah. Oh my god. The thing is adorable. Okay, um, can I reach it? Nice idea, but... Okay, 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 Laura, stop yelling at me. Jesus, calm down. Alright, well, now I have an arrow. I have an arrow, but what's the point? No, seriously, what do I do with it? Bad quality. The tip is blunt, the wood is fraying, and the feathers look like a toilet brush. Hmm. Is that a hint, maybe? The feathers look like a toilet brush? Maybe I can use it to scrub something? Seriously, what the heck am I going to do with an arrow? Um, would you like one, Gorf? Gorf Scratcher. <laughs> that actually worked. I mean, it didn't solve anything. It's still, he still needs an ointment, but I did scratch him. Hey! Don't scratch! I thought he wanted it to be scratched. That's only a short-term solution, though. It still needs to be healed. Alright. Um... Ooh, ooh, wait a minute, wait a minute. I have an idea. Which probably means it's not going to work. Actually, I have two ideas. Maybe I can do this. Not a good idea. Okay, that is one out of two ideas. Second idea. Exhaust pipe, it seems to be covered in something. The entire pipe is clogged with honey on the inside. Maybe I can do this to scrub it out. Yes. <laughs> Yuck, now the arrow's sticky. Oh, and you might think that'd be bad, except now I have honey, which I can use for Gorf. Excellent. I just plopped honey all over his head. Um, how does that feel, Gorf? Oh, it seems to be bugging out. Yeah, it's, it's not playing well with his idle animations. It's staying in one place even when he moves. Uh, do I... Do I scratch it now? Once with the honey is enough. I wouldn't ever touch that. No, no, no. I mean, is that is that it? I have to ask you another question. Must you really? Hey, I dislike this as much as you do. Oh yeah, that's right. There's a paper plane inside of his stomach. Also, tell me about the spot. And? <laughs> it hardly itches at all anymore. Oh, thanks. I really appreciate it. How much? Excuse me. Well, what do I get in return? My gratitude. Great. I'll put it in my bag right away. Come on, man. Gorf, I wanted at least Asparoro Row for that. Have you by any chance seen a paper plane fly by? What? Folded? Consisting of paper? Yes. I just swallowed one of those exact things. Why are you swallowing paper planes? 
Are you always so indiscreet? Indis... what? Was that an insult? Oh, what am I supposed to say? Paper plates aren't my favourite dish. But I follow an instinct, like all carves, that tells me to eat small flayed objects. Which means... I don't have a choice. Can't you just stop it? I well, don't want to eat the planes. I meant you're rambling. <laughs> okay, so how do I get him to stop? Stop it. You're destroying valuable research. Oh my gosh, that's terrible. I support science, I really do. But I don't have a choice. Why don't you just eat something else instead? Do you see anything flying around here? I could throw stones at you. I think I'll pass. <laughs> Ooh, 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 the flies. That's gotta be what the flies are for, right? It's gotta be. But how would I get them over here? Enough. I'll be going now. Oh, you'll be back. Don't think I didn't notice the sensual oh, God. tension between <laughs> us. Mm. Wow. I actually feel too sick to puke. Goodbye, Gorf. Okay, I'm pretty sure I need the flies, yeah. But let's go try it again anyway. Doesn't hurt to try. I mean, there's also the adorable tumble mouse, but I don't think that would work. Um, plus, I don't want it to get eaten. Alright, so I have the arrow with honey again. Actually, no, there's no, there's no point in even trying it. Okay, let's go get the flies to come with me. Aha! Uh -huh. They seem to love honey. No surprise there. Perfect. Here you go, Gorf. This will give you something to occupy, occupy yourself with. Yep, it worked. That is going to drive him insane. Now, it doesn't matter where I aim this, because it seems to shoot everywhere, right? Now it's aiming at the strange animal on the edge of the forest. Okay, come on, work. All right, that one went through. Excellent. Another paper plane. How nice. An extraordinary example. New data for our map. Wonderful. But we're still missing one last result. Look at the map. The wind swirls seem to be trying to tell us something. Yep, they seem to indicate there is a wind fountain right about here. But I need one more result. Okay. Now it's aiming at the crazy old man in the treehouse. Let's just shoot a paper airplane everywhere and see what happens. Oh, right, he destroys it. Okay. Hmm. Doesn't... Now it's aiming some... Alright, this one already went through, right? Yeah. Another paper plane. Which is old data, unfortunately. Friends, I detect... That we've... Already recorded this data. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I need to get him to not shoot the paper airplane. Let's move it back. Now it's a... Now it... Now... How do I do that? Hmm. Oh my god, that tumble mouse is adorable. 
Look at that. Oh my god, I want one so bad. Just imagine, like, have, have you ever seen cotton just, like, blowing on the wind? Imagine that, like, a cloud of cotton, except it isn't actually cotton, it's tumble mice. <laughs> that would be amazing. Uh... I'm trying to think of how the heck I can stop him. Distraction? But what could I use to distract him? Let's go take a look up there again. Hmm. I don't want to destroy it. Put some honey on the screaming ant's nest. I don't know why you would want to do that. Not a good idea. No. Alright, there's gotta be something I can do with this clothesline. I mean, if I could go across it, I could get to the other side, obviously. But... Hmm. No fooling around. Excuse me? No. Not with bare hands. Not with bare hands. So... Yeah... I mean, I could connect this back again, but... I already tried this on it and it doesn't work, right? Not a good idea. Yeah. So what can I use? Hint time! Just a little hint. Um, yep. Shoot him from, uh, stop him from shooting at the paper planes. Whoa, what? Is this a bug? Why, why are these already revealed? Hold on, I'm not gonna read the bottom ones. Um, you have to do something so that he won't hear the planes anymore. Okay, let me just think about that for a second. So he won't hear the planes. What could I do to stop the planes from making noise? Or to make noise that would distract him? I don't know. He's nearly blind, but with the help of his ear trumpet, he can hear everything. Right, so if I can break the ear trumpet or so Wait a minute. Can I, like, clog it up with honey? Earwax? Not a good idea. No. Hmm. Nice idea. Can I just, like, <laughs> push it off? I don't know how well it's connected there. Yeah. No. Let me disassemble this again. Yeah. No. I, I don't know. Yeah, this is kind of broken. There's something wrong with this. Maybe you can clog the ear trumpet. I already tried. Is there anything around that could fit into Pandor's, uh, Pandor's ear trumpet? Um. Wait a minute. The tumble mouse. But how? It's not a coincidence that the tumble mouse is up there. It could fit into the ear trumpet. It can clog it really well. You adorable little cloud. Cloud of cuteness. But how? I already tried to grab it, right? Slowly, but sure. The reed is too short. Alright, let's connect that back on the end. Reed is too short. Wait, seriously? Uh. The pointer fits perfectly into the other end of the reed. Oh! Does it? Reed with pointer and hook. It's getting complicated. It's. it's evolving. Oh my god. Wow, okay, apparently tumble mice are very, um, strong. Because I've had- I put one on top of a helmet and had it smashed by a tree fruit that was extremely heavy. 
And I just shoved it in my pocket, and it's apparently fine. Okay, so I guess I shouldn't worry about the uh, tumble mice being hurt. Because they appear to be basically invulnerable. Okay. Go ahead and, I guess, throw it into the ear trumpet? Go forth! He won't be able to hear anything anymore. It's found a new home in there. I wonder what tumble mice eat. It doesn't seem to care about anything that's happening to it. Like, it just blows on the wind and goes wherever and just doesn't seem to care. Alright, the third result, coming up. Hmm, science. South-southwest wind, arcing to the left. Last reading. Here, it's obvious there must be another wind well. That's the discovery of the century. Think of the amazing possibilities we have now. We have to make a pact. We have to tear the map into four parts. Why four? Well, one part for me, one for you, one for Lats, and one for the maid. Let's tell Conroy. He'll appoint us to heads of aerology. Brilliant idea. Come on, my dear aerologists. Let's become the cornerstones of the science world. Yeah, listen to the guy who poured honey in the tank. Do you forget your... Oh, whatever. Well, goodbye. I guess I will have found it before Conroy could possibly do anything about it. Where does the map lead to? I hope I'll find my dad there. Actually, wait, 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 wait a minute. There's gotta be something I can take back there, like the saddle. A saddle on a barrel? <laughs> what the heck am I going to do with a saddle? I can't do anything with that. All right, that's it. No, it smells weird in there. I'm not going in. All right, so now I need to get Robert down. And the only thing I... Oh, wait. I could use that to get across the rope, I think. Yeah, let's try that. I, su I mean, it does... Yeah, actually, that would work pretty well, I guess. Yeah, it's got handholds. Perfect. What's your plan? Don't worry. I thought of everything. You should land in the swamps. And if not? Just try. Worst case, you hit the ground. But what if... No talking. Aiming. What was that sound? Hmm. You're gonna talk. I'm patient. I've been patient for 20 years. Don't be sad. You only missed the swamp by 20 centimeters. <laughs> well, I didn't miss the rocks. <laughs> Fortunately, the hornet's nest dampened the fall. Yes, but I shouldn't have tried to hang on to the thorns. <laughs> oh, I love the dialogue in this game. All right, please tell me it's not going to hang. Hey, with... Okay, we good it made it. According to the map, this should be the strange place. It's calm here. What's behind that gate? Let's fan out. Well, I'm pretty sure I know. Another wind fountain. And that would appear to be... <laughs> Gorfalina. <laughs> it's a female Gorf, which, according to Gorf... Was, um, they're even more poisonous than the males. 
Okay, just realized something. I'm kind of confused. Gorf. Is his name Gorf? Or is he a Gorf? Is a Gorf a type of animal? Or was that his specific name? The fact that this one is called Gorfalina makes me think that it's just a... It was a name. A specific name. Otherwise, she would just be called Gorf as well. Now I'm confused, but anyway, it doesn't really matter. That's Laura. She's my ally and my companion on this adventure. That means no holding hands, no touching, just mutually protecting each other. <laughs> Remains? A petrified arm. Uh, someone got exploded, it looks like. Where's the head? Oh, it's a sleeping Foss Foss. Look at it. Oh, it's sleeping. They're adorable even when they're sleeping. It's sleeping, and I don't need one at the moment. It looks like a pair of petrified legs. I should let them stand there. That's what legs are for. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Oh. I just realized that's the body that Gorfalina's standing on. So that's where the rest of him is. There's an arm sticking up from the soil. Hopefully there's no asposion attached to it. No need to worry about that, Robert. Well, I guess if I ever need a hand, I have one. I think this is an asposion's petrified torso. What do you think you're doing there, bozo? I, um... A little hint. You were about to steal my torso. Strange. I suddenly feel drawn to her. Mm, what? Why would you feel drawn to her? You realize if you touch her, you're going to die, right? Because she will, like, melt your fingers? What are you doing here? You didn't follow me, did you? Mr. Gorf, what are you doing here? First of all, I'm a female. If it was your intention to offend me, then you now have one more enemy. Second of all, what do you two fools want with my gate? <laughs> what a crabby old hag. You can call me Gorfalina. Hmm. Well, do you know Gorf? We just met another Gorf earlier. That can't be. I happen to know that I'm the last Gorf in existence. That's what the other one thought as well. Seems to be the philosophy of these creatures. Who are you calling a creature, you beast? Who are you calling a beast, you toad? Who are you calling a toad, bitch? <laughs> Who are you calling a bitch, you... <laughs> Stop it, please. Oh my god. <laughs> I love the dialogue in this game. Well, maybe I can get Gorfalina and Gorf together, and they will live, live happily ever after. We could bring you to the other Gorf. Why? Yes, Robert. Why? Well, then you two could get acquainted. Not necessary. I like my independence, and I'm enjoying the single life. So, you haven't dated before? Oh. I don't see a ring on your finger either. You're not the hottest bun in the basket either. Anyway, my husband has to be rich and attractive and loving and fireproof. And blind and deaf. Ladies, please. Fireproof? Fireproof is one of her requirements? That's interesting. Never heard that one before. Why? Interesting, um, seat. Are you referring to this stone? Oh, I hate it. Grey's definitely not my color. Why don't you go and sit somewhere else then? Yes, after all, it is a petrified aspogen that your green butt is sitting on. Oh, sweetheart, you have no idea. If I jump down from here, I'd corrode a deep hole into the ground. Maybe we can help you to get down from there. No, you heard her. She'd just sink into the ground. 
What I wanted to say is that my skin is as corrosive as that green garbage bag you're wearing is ugly. <laughs> well, maybe I can find something. I know you goths can be pretty poisonous. Do you really want me as your enemy? I will never be friends with you. I'm just saying your species has a strong defense mechanism. Oh, that's true. My skin secretes a corrosive fluid. My claws are sharper than razor blades. And the last person's face that I spat on went insane and hung himself upside down from a tree. And is he all right? I don't know. He's dead. <laughs> My gosh, you really are sitting on an asposion. He hasn't complained yet. It looks as if you're growing out of him. Utter nonsense. Everybody knows that gorfs are born of water lilies. Wow, you're born out of flowers? No, water lilies, those big swimming mammals. Oh my... The gorf eggs lodge in the water lilies' heads and explode when the gorf is ready to be born. The water lily dies, of course. Beautiful story. I can feel my inner soul throwing up right now. <laughs> so not only are the Gorfs extremely corrosive and dangerous to everything around them, but even when they are born, they explode into the world by killing something else. They're very violent creatures. You don't like that stone? It doesn't fit me well. But if I just jump onto the ground, the earth will split where I land. That's impractical. What do you do with that fluid? Well, it's pretty useless. Mainly I kill with it. But you can also corrode things that are disturbing you. Is there a reason why you're sitting in front of the gate? Yes. Are you guarding something? A treasure? A secret? I'm working on my tan here. Can... Are you actually capable of getting a tan? Um... Actually, now that I think about it... Hold on, where does the light come from? Since we're inside of the inner world, there's no sun. So, where... Where, where is the light coming from? It's a strange thought. Do you know by any chance what's behind that door? No idea. I don't really care either. Wow. Thanks for the information. Does this look like a tourist information kiosk? Great. Excellent. Our only hope is tanning herself on a petrified corpse and is bitchier than... than... You? You're on thin ice. Can you by any chance tell us how to get through the gate? What would I get in return? You'd experience what it feels like to be nice to others and have them like you. What does that feel like? No idea. Ask him. <laughs> okay, so possible thoughts. I need to use her secretions to melt the gate. Also, look at that adorable little phosphos symbol up there at the top. Look at it. The symbol looks like a phosphos. Those things are so adorable. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. Okay. Let's we'll see what there is around here. A big, heavy rock. I still have my Conroy puppet. The fact that I still have it makes me think I'm going to have to use it at some point, but for what? Let's see how long it will hold out. <coughs> what? Nothing to say. I'm sorry, what was that, Conroy? <coughs> what? Nothing to say. The gate's huge. And unfortunately locked. Of course. Locked. No, I definitely have to know what's behind it. If they didn't want someone to break in, they should have left it open. Exactly, Robert. 
Exactly. Locked, if they... That brick sticking out. Hmm. Might be able to jump over the top. If I could pull this brick out. That brick... That brick looks loose. I won't be able to move the brick with my bare hands. I don't know if a stone arm is going to be any better, but what the heck, let's try it. That doesn't work. It doesn't even budge a little. Hmm. I can't do anything from here. Ladder, branch, wall. A decrepit rope ladder. Let's see what happens when I try climbing up it. Yes, let's see what happens when you climb up the climb up the decrepit rope ladder that looks like it's about to fall apart. Surely it's not going to fall apart, right? Go, Robert, go. <laughs> Everything I touch breaks. Ah, it's okay, Robert, don't worry. There's a branch. I won't break it. All right, ladder rungs. But what could I do with that? I mean, it's just the rungs, right? Round ladder rungs. What could I do with that? That's just a random... Yes, it is. Hmm... Can I actually be stuck on a single scene? Well, I could. There's... what? There... how can I get stuck on this? I actually don't know what to do, but there's like very little to interact with here. And I only have three items in my inventory. Excuse me, we... what? Hmm... God, I don't want to use the hint system already. That won't pry it out, right? That's just a no. The latter part of it's gone, so this wouldn't work. This wouldn't work at all. I don't think. I don't. Here, what can you do with these ladder rungs, Laura? Why should I do that? Nothing. I don't think... Okay, I've got round stuff. What do I do with the round stuff? I have no idea. What am I missing? Well, I could... No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Hint system to the rescue. Open the gate. Petrified body looks interesting. Yes, it does. You can't do anything about it. Long Zorphalene is on it. Yep. Maybe you can get another... Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Got it, got it. No, now is... Need to get another seat for her. So, I can... I can't get under it with my fingers. And besides, it's way too heavy. But, what can you do with stones? <laughs> it's really too heavy. I can't do it on my own. That doesn't mean that I'm weak. On the contrary. It takes strength to admit something like that. Laura will laugh at me anyway. <laughs> oh, Robert's so adorable. Okay, can't do it on my own. So... Uh... So what now? Mm, can you give me a hand, Laura? Can you lift up the rock? Well, let's see. No worries. We won't talk about it. I like it when men are strong enough to show their weaknesses. Oh god, she, she actually likes me. Robert, don't touch her. Ever. You will die, Robert. Why should I do that? No, no, not there. Under it. 
Okay. And let's push. Okay, Rock, hold on. We're going. <laughs> well, it actually worked. Uh, wasn't exactly elegant, but there you go. Excuse me, we... What? Look, Orphalina, we found a stone for you. You can come down from there now. You couldn't find a nicer one? Oh, I'm going to... You stupid! Laura, no. Uh, let me take care of this. Gorfalina, would you please switch to the other stone? Sure, no problem. Thanks. See, Laura, she's actually quite nice. Robert, she won't come down from there. Certainly not. But how come? Give me one good reason. Um, okay. Threaten? <laughs> no. Begging? Hmm. Flirt? Okay, well, she seems to like me, so I'm gonna flirt with her. I'm going to f I'm going to flirt with the extremely dangerously poisonous Gorfalina. So, how are you doing? Oh, good. I'm just working on my tan. Why do you want to get a tan? I think the green looks great on you. Really? <laughs> really? I used to have a cactus that I loved dearly. <laughs> you remind me of it. <laughs> oh, thank you. You know, I don't get a lot of compliments. I don't believe that. I do. You're quite a catch. Why do you put up with that gnome next to you? Oh, Laura can be really nice. What makes you say that? She's just energetic. I'm not energetic, I'm contagious. Ah, oh, sweetie, I think you're super nice. No, you're super nice. No. This is super disgusting. <laughs> Should I continue? Um, yes. Do you think you could hop just a little bit onto the other stone? What do I get in return? What would you like to have? You know, I can search for something to exchange with you. I do that all the time. A single kiss would be enough? Um... But that would kill me. Oh. You're so sweet. <laughs> yes, perfect for inducing vomiting. Ah, oh, all right, sweetheart. I will jump over for you. Okay, there we go. Poor guy. I wonder if he misses the rest of his body parts. Mm, probably not. No, no, he, he probably doesn't, because he's dead. Exceptionally light. Must have been a hollow aspersion. <laughs> now I feel bad. <laughs> Let's reassemble the petrified aspersion. That should work. Let's give him his arm back. I'll build myself an aspersion. My very own. What is he doing there? He's playing his flute nose. Flute nose? He's covering his first and his last nose hole. Can you do that too? I mean, even the statue can do it. Try it. Oh, I get to play a song. Okay, well, let me actually read this this time and remember it. <laughs> yeah, fat chance of that, but let's try. You can play different notes with the one, two, three, four keys. Simply hold down one or more buttons. Okay. Okay, gotcha. One, two, three, four. Right, so he's holding down the uh, first and last, right? Let me... <laughs> Makes the uh, the cute little phosphor symbol light up. Look at that thing. Hmm, should I try and play a song before I actually try to seriously complete it? Okay, the transitions between the sounds are not particularly pleasant. Oh, I completed it by accident. Damn it, sorry. Wow, 
know, Flute Nose. Your nose is really strange, but good strange. Also, impressive strange? Too much, Flute Nose. Oh, I should have quit while I was ahead. <laughs> okay, well, the adorable Phosphos is up, but what are the... Oh, color... Uh, with color moths. What are color moths? Color moths. You can dye fabrics with them. Oh. Yes, their stupid dust sticks to everything. Oh. Hey, stay here. I won't hurt you. Come back. Color moth. I hate them. They dye everything. If people, animals, and objects were nicer to me, I would hate them less. Fair enough. Come here. Not oh. possible. Hmm. Can I dye my Conroy puppet? Well, I could, but I won't. Okay, okay, let's just leave him for now. But something tells me the, uh, talking about dying and that their dust sticks to everything is probably a hint to solve a puzzle. But for now, let's just go in.